Oh boy, Modern Warfare 2 Season 2's update is only a couple days away and we have a little bit of time to discuss the new weapon balance update. In this video, we'll be talking about all of the weapons here in multiplayer that need to be buffed, which means made better, as well as nerfed, which means made worse in order to have a more fair playing experience. If you guys do know the video, make sure you drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. Let me know down in the comment section right now, what are some weapons you want to see buffed as well as nerfed within this season to update now we're going to talk about the assault rifles right now because there are only two ars in the game currently that i believe that need to be buffed and everything else needs to remain us the same no tweaks nothing else needs to be done under the assault rifle category those weapons are going to be the m16 as well as the cast off 545 now don't get it twisted both are good weapons but at the same time Comparing them to the Chimera, the AK-74U, the TAC-56, they are on the lower end of the totem pole, and I think they definitely should be made a little bit better so more players can have some more fun using the weapons and overall getting the challenges done a little bit easier, quicker to get the mastery camos. The M16, in my personal opinion, needs to have significantly less recoil in between bursts, so it's a little bit better and easier to use, at those longer ranges because it's a burst weapon why do i feel like i have to wait a few seconds in between bursts for the recoil to reset so i can take people out at longer ranges a little bit easier but i can literally just hold the trigger down with either the cast off 762 the m4 or the chimera it just doesn't really make sense to me so i feel that buffing the m16 making the recoil a little bit easier to use in between bursts would be a huge step in the right direction for that weapon let me know down in the comment section what you guys think now as far as the cast off 545 the only thing i want them to do with the cast off 545 is seriously buff up the handling on this weapon they need to increase the aim down sight speed the movement speed as well as the reload time so we can go ahead and run and gun and have a little bit more fun with this assault rifle because as of right now there's absolutely no reason to run the cast off 545 when you can run the cast off 762 or the 74u it's just simply outclassed in every single way and i think that they definitely should go ahead and increase the handling so it feels a little bit more like an ar smg hybrid kind of like how the 74u is but again it's still not up to snuff let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the cast off 545 but i feel like those are going to be the two assault rifles the m16 and the cast off 545 that need to be buffed within this season's update Honestly, I don't think any of the other assault rifles need to be touched, but honestly, the devs might go ahead and tweak the Chimera as well as the Cast Off 74U because those are on the stronger end. But for me personally, I think they should leave everything alone under the AR category. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the submachine guns. Now, the only SMG in the submachine gun category that I think needs to be tweaked, well, actually, maybe two SMGs that need to be tweaked, is going to be the MX-9 as well as the Bass P. The MX-9 is criminally underrated in this game, but at the same time, they need to go ahead and buff up the damage range, they need to buff up the damage velocity, as well as they need to go ahead and buff up the aim down sight speed, overall making the SMG feel more like a submachine gun and not just like that weird middle ground SMG AR hybrid. I mean, the Vaznev 9K is fitting that bill and it feels more like a submachine gun so if they were to go ahead and tweak the mx9 buffing up its range bullet velocity you know damage velocity so the weapon is actually hitting a lot harder and faster over ranges as well as that aim down sight speed increase making so we can snap on the players get that first shot and getting that kill i think the mx9 will definitely be a way better weapon in its respective class because if you want to have that hybrid smg just run the vaznev 9k there's literally no reason to rock the mx9 and it has more ammo by default anyway so it's kind of strange why the mx9 is set up the way it is when the vaznev is literally better in every single scenario again i'm not trying to have copy and paste weapons i just don't want to have useless weapons in the category 
Now, the Bass P, again, the Bass P is also a good submachine gun, but it is a little bit of a pea shooter. A little bit of a pea shooter. Let's go ahead and buff up the damage on the Bass P and slightly the damage range as well as that bullet velocity, giving more damage velocity so the bullets can hit targets quicker and harder across the map. So you can go ahead and use it if you guys get into a longer gunfight. That definitely would be a better situation to have the Bass P kind of set up for. So I think that would be a huge step in the right direction for that specific SMG as well. But again, let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. Again, I think the only two submachine guns that need to be tweaked are going to be the MX-9 as well as the Bass P. Now, as far as the other weapon classes goes, sniper rifles, marksman rifles, battle rifles, shotguns, handguns, as well as LMGs, I feel like the weapon balance we have currently in multiplayer is pretty spot i'm not saying a lot coming from me because i always like to speak out about imbalances within multiplayer the devs did a fantastic job of making sure that all the weapons in this game are more or less usable there's only a handful of guns that i feel that need to be buffed and everything else needs to be remaining the same this is the only time that i'm actually recommending no nerfs that are going to be made which honestly Unfortunately, there probably are going to be nerfs being made, but in all reality, I think everything else is pretty rock solid and good to go. Again, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think, and this is saying a lot because I'm actually not calling for any nerfs under the marksman rifle as well as the sniper rifle category. That could always be murky water in multiplayer, but in all reality, because the TTK is so fast, I personally have not had any issues dealing with with marksman rifles as well as sniper rifles yes they are good but i feel right now with the current weapons we have in the game and how they are balanced they are in a good position now we do obviously have some one shot exceptions like the bassless pistol and some shotguns that have crazy ridiculous range i mean we're about to get a brand new shotgun here in season two so things could change as things get added and get tweaked in the future but as of right now i feel like all the weapons besides maybe a handful in the ar and smg category are good to go and multiplayer is in a relatively good spot as far as weapon balance goes only we need to do right now is buff things making them better obviously making the game more enjoyable again let me know down in the comment section what you guys think if you guys do enjoy the video make sure you drop a like in the vid Subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. We're about to get the patch notes very soon. And once we do, I will go over all that so we can kind of discuss on things being made. And hopefully, everything remains going in the right direction. It's been your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. This is.